We're in Cinnamon Bay, St. John, U.S. Virgin Islands. I just saw a deer popping out. Oh. There's three little deer. little baby in there. Let's see if we can get a better view of them. Ah, oh, there he is. She. How cute. And there's the little baby. Cool. Let's go towards the beach area. This is Cinnamon Bay on St. John, which is part of the U.S. Virgin Islands. There is a storm system out in the Atlantic. It's been causing some rough seas and some swells. Here's the lay of the land. This place is very old. Cinnamon Bay Estate House Ruins from 1680 to 2017. These ruins are the oldest standing structural remnants on St. John. And up until Hurricane Irma in 2017, it was the longest lasting structure in use. Since its construction in 1680s, it has served many uses over its long history from plantation owner's house to warehouse and farmhouse to camp commissary to an archaeology lab with museum. So there shows some of the remnants of some of the historical artifacts here. The Taino Indians was a little house site. This was the estate house, kind of where we're standing here, which is right there. It was from 1680, it was the estate house, the plantation owner's estate. They had a beautiful site overlooking the beach. So lots of historical things. There was a cattle dipping vat here. That basically you dip your cattle in arsenic and kills the ticks. Historic house excavation. So back over here, there was an old house. So this was the old plantation owner's house from 1680s, wow. All right, unstable ruins do not enter. But we will take a quick photo because this looks like a beautiful photo. Look at that, really cool. And it is a little rough with the storm system off in the Atlantic. Kenny Chesney wrote a song with Cinnamon Bay mentioned in here. And wow, this is the first thing I notice is lots of erosion has occurred here. Wow, this beach has disappeared practically. Look how high how much sand got eroded away. Mm. Used to not be like that when I was here before. Let's look at the other side. It didn't fare much better, but it's not as bad. But yeah, still quite a bit of beach missing compared to before. This is a remnants of an old plantation owner's house from 1680. 1680, that's all that's left of it. You can see 
how it was built. What a house. This was a plantation owner's house from 1680. This is all that's left. A lot of it was destroyed from Hurricane Irma. But there used to be a sidewalk. A lot of this beach got eroded away. This used to be much more beach. And come over here on the other side. A lot of that beach got eroded away. You see where it drops down? But when we would come here, we would walk around the other side and I'm down there. And then that's where my screenshot was taken, just further down and then facing that way. But yeah, so this guy had a good location for his house. <laughs> and we see Joost van Dyke in the distance. There's Peter Bay, that's the those beautiful homes. That's Lower Peter Bay. And Upper Peter, Peter Bay is up there. So a little rough today from the, yep, Ghost Van Dyke. So there you go, Cinnamon Bay and St. John.